certain Bills receiver just got cut. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any video from my channel. Yo! Welcome to Kevin TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this with your cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And guys, don't forget to hit the bell notification, man. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. I upload randomly, so I don't want you guys to miss out. So definitely hit the bell icon, man. When you see the squeaky lines, you know you have been notified. And guys, I'm just going to let y'all know right now, this is a petty video. I'm sorry, I gotta do it. Somebody's gotta do it, somebody's gotta talk about it. This is a petty video, but I gotta do it. When someone gets petty, I gotta get petty right along with them. So now, a certain Bills receiver just got cut, so we gotta talk about that. We got another quarterback that he said is so accurate and what happened to him, gotta talk about that. And also, another quarterback he said is not accurate and how great of a season he's having. And when you actually have good receivers, you look pretty good. So we got a lot to talk about, guys. So let's get started. So my main man, Kelvin Benjamin, just got cut from the Buffalo Bills. Now, why is this funny? Because Kelvin Benjamin basically put all the blame on Cam Newton for his ineptitude. For all his bad games and all his, you know, mini drops, he said, if I had an accurate quarterback, i will be better. But guess what, Kelvin? You have not been better. You've been trash like you was trash in Carolina. This man was a waste of a first-round pick. He's eating himself out of house and home. Check this out, right? The Buffalo Bills. Everybody's saying the Buffalo Bills lost his trade. Obviously, they gave up a third-rounder and a seventh-rounder for this guy, and they already cut him. Obviously, they lost that one. But check this out. So, Calvin Benjamin, in the 18 games he's been there, only had 571 yards. He, been, he played a season in, like, two games. And only amassed 571 yards. This is the first, you know, number one receiver, all that stuff. That's what he does. Because Kelvin Benjamin can't keep his weight down. That's his problem. He eats himself out of house and home. He doesn't manage his weight well. That's been his issue since uh, Florida State. He doesn't manage his weight well. There's players like that. Eddie Lacy, another situation. He didn't manage his weight, make weight well. You know what I'm saying? He ate like crazy. He said he couldn't give up the candies and all that stuff, whatever. And he ate himself out of house and home. He played for Green Bay, left Green Bay, went to Seattle, left Seattle, and now he's out of a job. And I see the same trajectory for Kelvin because Kelvin Benjamin cannot control his weight. He's overweight as a receiver. Now, you never see this issue with Mike Evans. And Mike Evans is 6'5", just like he is, but Mike Evans keeps himself in shape. Kelvin, on the other hand, does not. And he doesn't want to... There's, there's been... You know, people have been uh, criticizing Kelvin... All season. Like, for instance, when Josh Allen said, hey, Kelvin, let's run some routes. Kelvin's like, hey, don't talk to me, basically. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, hey, I'm his quarterback. I'm trying to get, you know, build this connection, and you don't want to do that? That's who Kelvin is, though. Kelvin is the type of player that doesn't want to put in the work, doesn't want to manage his eating, and now he's probably not going to be able to find a job. And if he does, it's going to be on a very reserved role. And if he doesn't change this out, you know, his eating problem, He's never going to be able to stay on the team because you cannot be, unless he moves to tight end, which I don't think he wants to do. We'll see. Now, mind you, we'll see. You know, obviously, he can move to tight end. But be honest with you, man, Kelvin Benjamin is the problem. His attitude is the problem. His mindset is the problem. And he acts like it's everyone else's fault besides his own. Until he realizes that, hey, I got to you know, take ownership of my food intake, of my weight, and my football career. He will never be what he think he is. You know what I'm saying? And that is a good receiver. Because he drops a lot of passes, one. So he has a lot of focus drops. Well, he just drops passes. Two, he doesn't have crisp route running, which I've said before, and which everybody said before. And three, he doesn't want to take coaching. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to listen to anybody. He wants to blame everybody else. So you're never going to get better if you don't improve your single set, listen to what people are saying. I mean, even Chris Carter said it. Chris Carter's like, hey, man. You know, I thought I was, the, you know, the bee's knees. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was the man. And then somebody said, hey, bro, you not. Do this, do that. And what happened? Once he took the coaching, his career skyrocketed. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that you got to listen to your coaches. You got to listen to the people around you. You can't just blame everybody else. And Kelvin has not learned that. That hurts him also as a teammate. Because nobody wants to be a teammate with a guy who doesn't want to participate, who don't want to listen, who don't want to grow, get better, and who's going to push all the blame on everybody else. You know what I'm saying? That's where everybody's problem with Big Ben is now. Because Big Ben is throwing other people under the bus instead of taking ownership of what he's doing. Kelvin, put down the plate of food, 
put down, you know what I'm saying, whatever you got going on, and dedicate yourself to football so you can get to the level you want to be. Otherwise, you'll be out of the league like Eddie Lacy is. So now let's get into the guy that he said is so much more accurate than Cam Newton is, and that's Nathan Peterman. Kelvin Benjamin said, Nathan Peterman is so accurate because they had a great game in preseason, whatever it was. Oh, Kel hey, Nathan Peterman is so accurate. He had like, I think, 90 some yards and like a touchdown or whatever. He's so accurate. Oh, man, he's amazing. Guess what? Nathan Peterman's lost his job. He's out of the league right now. You know why? Because Nathan Peterman, in the, he played, I think, four games total. He started two. He's threw one touchdown and seven interceptions. So that means for his career, he threw three touchdowns and 12 picks. That's the guy who said, oh, he's so accurate. He makes such good decisions. Oh, man. That's the guy Kelvin put his, his faith in. And now he's gone. Josh Allen, I guess that's not his boy. I guess he's not rocking with Josh Allen. So he was, you know, being rude to him, basically, and not want to do what Josh Allen asked of him as a quarterback to a receiver. And now he's off the team. So, you know, he, you got to be careful of how you talk about you know, your former teammates, your former players, you know what I'm saying, former teams in general, because you never know. Like, look at Kenyon Barber. He's been off our team, on our team, off our team, on our team. He said to himself, he said, why would I talk bad about them when they're the one who gave me the opportunity in the first place? And that's the truth. We gave him an opportunity. We drafted him. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we, we cut him at one point. He went to the Eagles. He did his little thing. But he's not going to have animosity to a team that drafted him, especially when it was a situation where we didn't, you know, do him dirty or something like that. You know what I'm saying? We released him, let him go to, you know, to another team, whatever. And, um, you know, obviously he came back and now he's on our team again. But the thing is, is that, man, be careful who, you know, what bridges you burn. Be careful who you talk bad about. Because, again, let's say how they speaking, right? Maybe he didn't, you know, maybe he didn't say that stuff about Cam. Maybe he said Carolina was a great time for him. Who knows? Maybe Carolina might have been like, hey, come back, you know what I'm saying? Be, you know, playing this type of role for us, whatever. But now he burned that bridge. That's one team off the 31 teams that could, you know, want you. That's off your list. You know what I'm saying? It just, it doesn't make sense to me, man. Don't bash the former team that you was on. It makes no sense. Because, again, look, you see the Panthers, you know, let Ted Ging go. He went to another team. He came back. You know what I'm saying? It happens a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that's just what it is. Julius Peppers left the Panthers, went to Green Bay, went to, you know, Bears. Came back. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Captain Munley went to the Vikings, came back. The Carolina Panthers are known for bringing people back. You know what I'm saying? Especially in a situation where you could be in a reserve role and just be, you know, functional for us. But he burned that bridge. He said some things that he shouldn't have. And I'm pretty sure he's regretting it now. You know what I'm saying? Looking back. But he put his faith in this guy, Nathan Peterman, and he threw three touchdowns and 12 picks. That's crazy, man. Three touchdowns and 12 picks. But I guess he's way more accurate than Cam is. And finally, we're going to get to the guy who he said is not accurate. Is not a good quarterback. You know what I'm saying? He said he wanted the Tom Brady's and Aaron Rodgers. Well, check this out. Now, mind you, I wouldn't say Cam Newton's Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. But I will say Cam Newton's having his most accurate season of his career this year. Cam Newton's having his highest completion percentage this year. Cam Newton's playing the best football of his career. Even, even with the Tampa Bay game, we played horribly. I still think he's playing the best football of his career. You know what I'm saying? Because that's one blip. That's one bad game he had. Overall, he played amazing. And you know why? It's because he has receivers that can catch. Christian McCaffrey has become his go-to guy. And he catches the ball very well. DJ Moore. I've I seen an article on Pro Football Focus where he has the fifth um, highest catch rate um, from the slot of, you know, of the rookie receivers. He's playing amazing. You know what I'm saying? He catches the ball great. Like, he doesn't drop a lot of passes. So now he has guys that can actually catch. Cur Curtis Samuel. Uh, Y'all already know how I feel about Curtis Samuel. I'm a Curtis Samuel fan. And he's catching the ball amazing. You know what I'm saying? When you have guys that can actually catch the ball, who actually runs good routes, who can actually get open, who actually can, you know, make, you know, make, you know, yak yards and stuff like that, whatever, and create for themselves. You know what I'm saying? DJ Moore obviously had a huge run. Curry Samuel, you know what I'm saying? He does his thing. And when you have guys like that, it makes it easier on your quarterback. Cam just dumps it off to them, and they get up all the yards. Whereas Kelvin, Cam couldn't do that. He had to wait till this guy gets all the way down the field or gets, you know, 10, 15, 20 yards down the field and throw him the ball because he knows that once he throws it to him, he's probably going to get tackled because he's not fast. And, and actually, you got a 50 50 percent chance, 50 50 chance of him dropping the pass because he was never good at catching the ball. Now, mind you, you can see the difference between somebody like Curtis Samuel and Kelvin Benjamin. Curtis Samuel buys him a jugs machine in the offseason to get his hands better. Has Kelvin Benjamin done that yet? I mean, as a receiver, why are you not investing in yourself 
as a receiver. You know, so you want to catch the ball better, get a judgment machine so you catch the ball you know, during the offseason. Keep yourself in shape. He hasn't done it. So that shows what kind of mindset Curtis Samuel has and Kelvin Benjamin has. It's just funny, man. Like I said, man, you know, like this, the saying says, God doesn't like ugly, ugly, man. You know what I'm saying? What goes around comes around. And Kelvin was spewing all this hate and all this stuff towards Cam, even though Cam never said a negative word about him. And now all that's coming full circle. He got cut from the Bills. We don't know if he's going to get on another team. And the quarterback that he was praising also got cut. And now we'll see where he lands up. But just for all the people who watch my channel, man, don't burn bridges, bro. You do not know who is related to who, who, you know what I'm saying, is cool with who, who's going to get to a situation where you need help getting to. You don't know, bro. Do not burn bridges, man. Keep good relationships. Don't do people dirty, man. And at the end of the day, it helps you just as much as it helps yourself, um, anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know who's going to be in a situation to help you out again. So don't burn bridges. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with y'all cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And guys, get in the comment section, man. Let me know your funniest Kelvin Benjamin jokes. I ain't going to lie. This is, this, like I said, this is a petty video, man. But I want y'all to let me know y'all funniest Kelvin Benjamin jokes in the comment section, man. And how you feel about the Kelvin Benjamin situation as a whole. Let me know how you feel about that. Uh, don't forget you can copy your Elk Camera TV gear, gear, whatever. It's great for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Shirts, hats, mugs, all types of cool stuff. Links in the description below. Definitely copy your apparel. You already, you already know, man. And if you copy some apparel, take a picture of it. Add me at LCamera25 on Instagram so I can shout you out, whatever, show you some love. You feel me? So definitely cop some apparel. Check out the Patreon page. That link is also in the description below. You know what I'm saying? Exclusive content, shout outs, you know what I'm saying? Blooper reels, all kinds of cool stuff. Check that out. Check out my dog with non Steen's video. This video is going to be at the very end of mine on the end screen. Very fun dude, very talented. We're going to keep the collaborations going. So definitely be on the lookout on his channel, whatever. Sometimes we might do exclusive content on my channel. Might do some, do some exclusive content on his channel. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, share with all your Panther family friends, anybody Panther related, anybody football related, anybody Buffalo Bill related, let them know. L Camera TV rocking with Panther Nation, Panther Nation rocking with L Camera TV. Thank y'all for all showing love, man. And we getting petty in this video, man. I Look, I'm not a petty person. I usually just chill, bro. But I just don't like how he, you know, attack Cam, whatever. I feel like it was messed up. And I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to get to his, stoop to his level. Cam took the high road. I take the low road, you feel me? So, thank y'all for all the support. Thank y'all for all showing love, man. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.